Hello everyone. Hi. I know it's been a while since you saw a career mode video, but we're back and I'm excited because I remembered when I loaded this up this morning that I have Ribeiro, the absolute beast that is, and I'm very excited to play with him. Today, we're going to start our Champions League journey with Barcelona. We've got Neymar, Griezmann and Messi all ready to score goals. We've got Fatih, Dembele and Ribeiro and Suarez who wants to play in this game, who might just play in this game, you have to wait and see. Um, and a few other players that I might be throwing into the squad for this first game. However, having said that, it is against Borussia Dortmund. So I am a tiny bit hesitant to play a weaker team. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to jump into it. I'll show you the team just before. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into the game. Uh, I'm very excited. So that we're basically going to... Well, we, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't even know yet. So we're going to put Neymar out wide. And we're going to play Suarez. And we're going to put Vidal on for De Jong, I think. And let's go ahead and start Fatty for this game. And uh, bring on Umtiti for PK. Who do I want on the bench? Do you know what? I'm also going to play Firpo instead of Alba for this game. Just to give him... Uh, a little bit, a little bit of game time because he hasn't had much. Who else do I want to throw in? I think I'll put Puig on the bench just in case I might have the chance to bring him on. I'm not going to play Griezmann this game. He's not exactly much of a game changer for me anyway. So that's the team we're going to go with. So yeah, um, if you do enjoy this video, uh, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do enjoy any of my content, please head down to the description box and follow my Twitch. Um, very very happy within a week I uh, managed to get 50 followers on there so I'm currently a Twitch affiliate and I feel honestly so blessed by that I want to say thank you for all the support I can't believe I hit a hundred subscribers on YouTube as well like the fact that I have more than one subscriber right now is a, a blessing on me and I feel amazing I feel incredible you know and um, I do think that I need to put in a lot more effort into my YouTube into my twitch and stuff like that to give back the content so I am try currently saving for an Elgato to try and um, make the, the gameplay a bit better to make everything a lot better for you so that you can enjoy the content a little bit more so let's go ahead and jump into the game here I'm a little bit nervous because I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to lose. I want to start off very well in the Champions League. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to put in a good performance. So let's go ahead and see what I can do. Messi out wide to Fatty. See if he can swing the ball into the box. Oh, it's a good pull. Oh, I thought Messi was going to be able to get his foot to that. Let's see if we can drop it back to Busquets. Back into Vidal. Fake shot. Hit it. There it is. First goal of the game, and it's the guy who wanted to play before. Man like Suarez. That's a good start. I really want to win the Champions League before team of the season comes around on Ultimate Team because I'm mainly focusing on Ultimate Team right now, enjoying that. But I, I do want to carry on this series. I do enjoy career mode. Um, my dog's just decided to smash everything up, so I'll see you in a moment. Oh, my days. Suarez is away again. Suarez is away again. Suarez, come on. Finish that. Finish that. There it is, come on. It's a little bit lucky. It deflected a couple of times, bounced back to me, but I'll take it. We're playing well. I think the reason I might play better, uh, better, as, as people will say, the reason I might play better is because um, I have played a lot of uh, legendary and a little bit of ultimate on the ultimate team that I've been doing. So there's a chance I'm a little bit more used to the game at the moment and uh, I may play better, but... It's still early days, so we'll have to wait and see. Suarez is out wide here. See if I can cut back. Play the ball back into Fatty. Oh, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do there. I kind of I was undecisive. Oh, Coda wants to get involved in the episode as well. Oh, unlucky. Day. Oh, Messi's away here. Messi's down the wing. He's absolutely destroyed everybody. Yes, Messi, go on. And there it is. I, don't, I probably shouldn't have sweaty gold that. I probably could have took it all the way with Messi. But who is it that scores? It's only the the guy that ruined PSG hearts. If I can get it out. Um, Sergi Roberto. It's a good goal. I think we'll be seeing my Portuguese starlet a little bit earlier than expected in this game. Messi again. Can he knock it past him? He has. And for some reason, they've kind of just let me walk past. 
Messi's going to cut in here. Well, he was going to try to. Um, haven't played with Suarez in this game. I didn't give him much of a chance in the first few games. Because uh, I don't really feel like Suarez is the type of player I, I like to play with on this game. Having said that, though, he feels like an okay player right now. I don't want to jinx it and just think maybe, you know, because maybe the start of this game has been a bit um, a bit more towards me, you know, more on my side. So I don't want to jinx it and say he's good now because in a moment he may play absolute poo-poo. But as of right now, he seems like a good player, which is making me wonder if I missed out on doing his player of the month on my ultimate team. Because it was a very cheap player of the month to do. And it was a fairly decent card. And I think it was a plus two on his his current card. Which would be this one. So I'm not sure if I missed out. Or if, you know, like I say, it's just it's just early doors. And it's just uh, for the moment he just seems good. But so far he doesn't seem like a bad player. As I say that he gives it away. But hopefully, hopefully he can get another one or two more goals. Before I sub him off, although I may be subbing him off sooner rather than later. So here we are at half time, 3-0 up, 5 shots, 5 on target. Possession is a lot down, so I'm going to get that up in the second half. I'm going to go ahead now, excuse me. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and bring off Fatty and bring on Riviera, the absolute icon. I'm bringing on Puig for Arthur, and I'm just going to leave it at that. We might see Neymar in the second half, probably. Um, but as of right now, the team is doing fairly well. Like I said, I would like to get the possession up a little bit. I've kind of just gone to try and close the game out. So um, now that we have a comfortable lead, I can try and get the possession up. So we'll see what the stats look like at the end of the game. But for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep playing, try and hold the lead that we have. And if we can push forward and get some more, we'll go ahead and do that. But they've only gone ahead and scored anyway. So. We haven't started off very well in keeping that clean sheet, but, you know, we might be able to keep a clean sheet for the rest of the game, but we'll see. Oh, Suarez is away again. Suarez is away. He's got to finish this, and he has. There's a hattie for Suarez. Um, I, I would consider subbing him off right now for Neymar, but I think I'm going to keep him on because he's playing fairly well, and I'm quite enjoying using him. So, um, yeah, let's, let's keep him on for now, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I want to put this question out there for anyone watching this video as well right now. Has anyone had really bad gameplay lately on FIFA? Because I've had the most terrible gameplay, specifically online, but also offline a little bit. I felt that it's extremely delayed, and I'm not I'm not sure if it's just me, if I've got a broken controller or what it is. Like, genuinely, I don't know. Like, don't don't get me wrong, I could have a broken controller. The amount of times I've had to, you know, get angry with this game, um, it wouldn't surprise me if it was a little bit broken. But it just seems a bit weird right now. As Messi runs through on goal and hits it, and he puts it wide. Great goal. Um, great goal. Great shot. Uh, but yeah, it feels like the connection or something about this game is a little bit slower. Uh, it's, it's just unresponsive. That's the word that comes to mind when I think about how I've, I've been thinking about this game. Um, feeling. Sorry, not thinking about this game. Feeling. Um, it just feels incredibly unresponsive. A lot of my players, I, I was on stream yeah, the past few days. And it feels like my players are in custard the whole time. Like, I, that, that's not me just trying to be comedic or anything like that. It just feels like they are in custard. Like, Messi never does. And he scored again. It's turned into quite an easy game here. I'm quite surprised. Um, as I say, it's probably just because I before, before I started this series, before I started YouTube, I hadn't really played too much uh, FIFA. So, once I started YouTube, I just tried to play FIFA as much as possible. And now I've been on stream the past few days, playing for four or five hours a day. Uh, well, three to four hours a day. Uh, I, 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 you know, a little bit more used to it, a little bit more um, tuned in to what works and what doesn't. And um, yeah, so that could be what it is, why I'm playing a bit better. So we could potentially look at going up to Ultimate, but I, I really highly doubt that because Ultimate just seems broken on this game. Uh, it's not very realistic. I just feel like you lose 99% of the games, which is not fun. So I probably won't be doing that. But uh, as we see Ribeiro on the ball here, see if he can pull out another... Oh, wow, he's actually kept the ball. How's he done that? Through to Suarez, who comes back in. I actually tried to play that back into Vidal. That's one of the things I'm talking about. Actually, really quickly, while I've got you here, let's have a look and see if it shows where I aimed that ball. Um, I did aim that to Vidal. So, as you can see, I've kind of tried to aim it to Vidal. I, my controller was pointing a little bit in that direction. My, I, my actual button was pointing to Vidal. So the fact that that's gone to him, I don't know. 
77 minutes into the game here. I'm going to be subbing on Neymar for Suarez. Suarez is putting a very good performance, but I feel his time is up for this game. Probably isn't going to get any more goals, so we're going to sub him off. And as you'll see, Neymar is heading on for Suarez. Ribeiro with the ball. He's making a good run here. I was hoping to see if he uh, hoping to see. I was hoping he could get an assist as a Borussia Dortmund are on the counter attack. Martial with the ball. Very strange. Martial coming through, and it's a great tackle by Umtiti. Umtiti seems like a very good player so far. Uh, it's one of the first games I've used him, if not the first. I'm not. I'm not sure if I have used him. As uh, Neymar's on the ball here. Finesse shot from Neymar. That went a bit of a weird direction. Ribeiro, edge of the box, hit it. Ribeiro! Oh, I was hoping he could get his second goal of the season. Let's see what we can do from the corner. And as usual on FIFA 20, absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, wait and see if there's any more uh, actual good highlights for the end of this game. If not, then I'm just going to show you the, uh, the final score and the stats. Well, <laughs> that was a tiny bit unexpected. I'm not going to lie to you. What a fantastic celebration. Uh, I just knocked the ball into Messi and laid it off to Neymar. And a uh, fantastic finish. I really should have expected that from someone like Neymar. I, I, I should have been more ready for that to hit the back of the net. But with the way FIFA's been lately, I wasn't really expecting that. I might have to go ahead and pick him up on my ultimate team. <laughs> so there it is. GG's. Uh, fantastic performance from my team. Suarez with the hat-trick, um, Neymar with the goal as well. Incredible performance. I did get a possession up a little bit more, but as you can see, it wasn't, it wasn't that much more. But let's go ahead and push into the next game, which I believe is against Granada. So here we go, the next game. Uh, as it stands, we are currently sitting in, uh, where are we? We're in sixth place at the moment. Win this game and we'll head up to fourth place. So not great. But it's been two, two draws, two wins, so... If we can get a win here, get another win, you know, we may, we'll be up there competing for the title. I'm pretty sure that we're going to start pushing on now as I'm, I'm a little bit more used to the game. I think, because Granada aren't exactly, no, no offence to any Granada fans out there if there are any watching this, I'm not too worried about Granada. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put Neymar on the bench again. And I'm going to put Ribeiro starting this game. I'm going to bring on Nieto uh, into the, onto the bench. Five star week, though. It's absolutely incredible. Um... And then I'm going to just, I think I'm going to leave the rest of it as is. What's, okay, no, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to have Abe on the bench just in case. And I'm going to put Dembele on for Griezmann. So I think this is what we're going to start with. Um, yeah, this seems like a good idea. We're going to go ahead and do that. Let's play the game and um, let's see if we can get the three points. So here we go with the start of the game. I've decided to turn the ambience on a little bit so that we have a little bit more of a... Um, you know, atmosphere, if we can score any goals in this game, or if we can score any goals in any game. Uh, it just seems a little bit more fun than just sitting in Silencios. Uh, so, well, as we are a Spanish team, as we try speaking a little bit of Spanish, and it looks like Dembele is going to be straight through here. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened, guys. I've just turned into, like, the legendary god. Of course, like, I'm not an ultimate right now, so I could be a lot better. But it just, I don't know, maybe the game's fixed itself. We may have a goal on Ultimate. If you want to see that, let me know. I'll do it in the next episode. But seems, uh, you know, it seems like a, uh, we're, 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 we're up there. You know, we're getting better. Oh, it looks like Dembele might be away again here. And it, he is. That's a straight red card if I've ever seen one. That better be a straight red card. If that's not, then this game is rigged. Not even a yellow card. Woo. I, normally it's Barcelona that's in the pocket, but that seems a bit of a bit of a weird one. Oh, unfortunate there. Oh my days! I'm so lucky right now. I didn't expect them to get through that quickly. Jordi Alba versus Diaz. I bet Diaz has like ten pace. So they they got their first opportunity of the game, and it looked like they were going to score. So I'm a little bit worried now. Please don't. Oh, on ultimate team, that would have hit the back of the net, I'm telling you now. I'm not sure how that was a, that was a free kick. I felt like I won the ball there. Um, if it's typical FIFA, then this is hitting the back of the net, so let's be ready for that. Luckily, I got there. Get the ball out. Get the ball out. Yes, let's go. Messi. 
when Messi's on the ball, you know that. Uh, oh wait, no, there's no one coming forward really. He's held, he's held onto the ball right until the moment someone comes up next to him, and then I've lost it. Typical of me. Oh, but here we go. Messi could be away if he could knock the ball. Going to try and come back. Drag, come on. Into the box, into the box. And on a volley, that's a goal. Oh my god, I'm, I quit. Because Ribeiro's got a four-star weak foot, and because Dembele's got a five-star weak foot, I'm going to swap these two over. I know it doesn't really matter too much, but I, I feel like I would prefer to have Dembele on the left and Ribeiro on the right. It just feels like that's going to be better for me. I feel like that's going to get the best out of Ribeiro. I like shooting with players' stronger feet. And every time I'm getting the ball with Ribeiro and I'm thinking I might want to shoot, it's always on his right foot. So I'm a little bit worried. But with Dembele, I'm not as worried because he's a fantastic player. So he can just score with either foot. And, uh, you know, you, you, you're not really worried when you take a shot. But as we see Dembele first time down the left wing, that Diaz player is very quick. Oh, wow. He's outpaced Dembele and won the ball. Oh, it, PK even has won the ball for me. I've tried to knock the ball forward. That's, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Please tell me if you're experiencing this. Uh, as, as this has happened, I've played the ball through. I've gone and knocked the ball forward with my controller like that. I've knocked the ball forward uh, at about, I would say, this point. I've knocked the ball forward. So as this side tackle comes in, he really should be taking the player, and that should potentially be a red card. For some reason, the game is not responding to what I'm asking it to do. I don't know if that's just been a thing all year. I know it was for a while where the game, you know, it's always been a thing that EA and uh, FIFA has not been 100% great and or responsive. But that just seems a bit, uh, it's, it seems it's happening a bit more lately. I, during the start of the game, I would I would try that and it would work. But now, uh, especially the past, I would say two weeks. I would say the past two weeks, it felt that that's, that's been a little bit more of a theme. It's not really uh, been as responsive, and it's, it's causing me a lot of trouble, especially in... Oh, that could have been a penalty if he'd gone down. Um, especially in online games. Um, I actually went through a stage the other day. If any of you have watched my uh, Road to Henri video, ooh, the most recent one I put, I was in Rivals, and I was on 1,500 um, skill points. And I think, I think it's skill points. And I started playing a couple weeks ago, or like this past week, and I literally went, I'd say about seven or eight games, where I didn't win one game. I, I weren't because I wasn't playing well, it weren't because I wasn't doing the right things, it's not because of my team. My team was like actually being improved. I went and bought um, Inform Ducore, which is an improvement on uh, Suzoko. I went and bought uh, Hyunmin Sung as well, so he was an improvement. And for some reason, I wasn't winning anything. I stopped playing for um, Friday, I believe it was. I stopped playing for the whole day. I came back Saturday, and the game felt completely different. Like, it wasn't the same as it was the day before. Maybe we're just going from, uh, for a day-to-day a -day thing. And it's really frustrating, you know. Uh, even offline, I'm feeling that it's just... Um, it's not consistent. You know, one day it's good, one day it's bad. It's not how it should be. And it's really, really frustrating, I must say. So, um, at half time, we, we, we're 1-0 up. We're doing okay. Uh, let's see what else we can do in this second half. Hopefully, we can get one or two more goals because that goal difference might come in handy nearer the end of the season. Oh, no. Guys, I was... I didn't even prepare for that to go in. I thought he had that all day long. This is the problem with the game at the moment, guys. It's absolute bullshit. Um... Not ent sorry, not insane. Sorry, not very um, not very good there. PK has just decided to run away. Testegan, I don't think you'd ever see that in real life. Uh, it's a terrible shot. It's a pot shot, and look at that. He hasn't even dived. He's just stood in the same position and just like stuck his arm out to the side. This game is extremely frustrating at the moment, guys. So I'm around about that stage where I want to bring on um, Neymar now. Uh, I may bring on Suarez a little bit later on, but for now I'm just going to bring on Neymar. We need a goal, guys. We need a goal. Messi coming down the wing here. Could hit it to the back post, and he has. And who's there to finish it? It's the icon, Ribeiro. The absolute, absolute, the absolute beast. What a guy. I'm absolutely in love with this guy. He may be my favorite youth scout I've ever had. Um... I have never really got a youth scout to a very high rating. The most I've ever gotten to is probably like 81, 82. 
I'm feeling that this guy could go higher than that if we continue this series. So if you do want to see the series continue and see how high we can get him, then go ahead and click that like button, hit that subscribe, comment on the video, let me know that you want to see it, and um, we may just upload a lot more videos a week. Neymar is absolutely away here. It looks like it's just him and Messi. Neymar, I've tried to shoot that ball, but he didn't let me. Woo! Oh, Riviera, you absolute beast. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, I was hoping he could put that top corner. He's felt like he's played very well this game. He's getting a little bit low on stamina. He may be coming off soon. But for now, we'll keep him on. Just Oh, I've tried to pass that back to De Jong, but it's not gone the right way. Um, oh, wow. See, there you go again. The unresponsiveness. I fake showed that. So, I'll give it about another two minutes or so, and I'm going to bring off Ribeiro for Suarez, and then put Neymar out wide. So, off he comes. I'm actually changed my mind. I'm bringing on Griezmann. So, we're going to leave it like that. Suarez. Ball through to Neymar. Neymar's still got the ball here. He's coming back in on the finesse. There it is. What a finish. I think Neymar is absolutely stunning on this game. Do you know what? I'm going to have to pick him up on my ultimate team. I have to do it, I think. I've been missing out on him all year. We're in <laughs> midway through March, and I've missed out this much. Uh, it's not great, but it is what it is. Great goal. His, his control of the ball, his finesse shots are just fantastic, and... He's an absolutely incredible player. Uh, where is it? Where does it say? Four goals in La Liga. Honestly, I said I think I said before the season started that Messi would be up there as the top scorer. I think I'm changing my mind. I think it's going to be man like Neymar. And as I say that, Messi's on his way through. But I think I'm going to lay it off to Neymar. And he's not scored this time. He's not scored this time. Uh, as a quick side note, uh, just while we were talking about Neymar there. I just want to point out how I feel about what he done in the Champions League, what him and PSG done about um, Haaland's celebration and how they celebrated that they, you know, knocked out Dortmund. It, it seems a bit distasteful what they done. I know there's going to be a lot of people saying, um, you know, kind of deserved it, whether, but I don't feel that he, you know, I I don't feel he disrespected anybody too much. I know the Instagram posts were like him dominating Paris or what, owning Paris or whatever. I don't think he, he meant it in like a malicious way. I think he's just trying to be confident, you know. 18 years old, scored an absolutely incredible amount of goals already. Uh, got a big move to a big club. I didn't. I don't think he meant it maliciously. And to see like a 27, 26-year-old or 28, I don't know how old Neymar is, and Mbappe and all that doing what they did, it was a bit childish. And in a way, I hope they get smashed in the next round. So we'll come back to this video if, uh, you know, if they do get smashed and... Wait and see who they draw, and I'm hoping they get Bayern Munich, and Bayern Munich just, like, walk all over them. <laughs> so, we're going to finish this uh, episode off with some player training here. We've got Ribeiro on a couple of them. We've got Fatih, Firpo, and Puig. So, we'll go ahead and do this. Ball control for Ribeiro's going up, which is great. Shot power is only 56. I haven't noticed that, you know, 62 finishing. I haven't noticed these stats. Um, the stats say he's a lot worse than he was, but he feels, he feels like a great player. So... Um, as it stands, we are currently still sitting in sixth place. Um, we are how many points off the top now? We are. Oh, it looks like a lot more points now. But there is there is a game in hand, of course. Um, even after that game in hand, we're still going to be four points behind. But that's fine. It is what it is. We could potentially push up to third in the next episode. Uh, well, actually, yeah, we could play two or three games in the next episode if that's what you want to see. So we could potentially push up to first place even, depending on other results. Of course, Real and uh, Atletico have had a great start to the season. We haven't had a terrible one undefeated, you know, a couple of draws. It is what it is. So if you did enjoy the episode, please, um, as I've said a couple of times in the episode, just drop a like, comment and subscribe. Please let me know how you feel about the episode, and if uh, if you do enjoy any of my stream, uh, any of my videos, sorry, please drop by one of the streams on Twitch. I'm streaming most days at the moment. Uh, uh, Sundays will probably be my days off. Having said that, I'm on speaking on Sunday right now, and I'm about to go live on Twitch. So, yeah, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'll probably be live quite a lot. So hit that uh, notification bell when I'm going live, and you'll be able to see. So hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, have a good week. Have a good day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Sing happy birthday. See you later, guys.